I just had an aha moment, thought I'd share it. I feel like it's a big one that's taken me about a year to, to get. If you're feeling angry, you're gonna walk around the world and feel and see more reasons to be angry. If you're feeling afraid, if you're feeling self-doubt, you're gonna pick up on more reasons around you to feel self-doubt and nervousness. If you're feeling love and you're feeling confidence, it's gonna feel like you're in a flow, like you've got momentum because you're gonna, you pick up on more reasons to feel love and, and confidence. And this, that means that the emotion that you're in the habit of cultivating, your default state is going to directly affect your perception of the world and therefore your experience. For me, that was just like, it reminds me of this moment I had in Adelaide. I was halfway through the tour last year and last year was a big year for me because I was going out there and I was literally challenging all these beliefs that I had that I was incapable of touring, that it was touring equaled panic attacks and chronic fatigue and all that stuff. And here I was halfway through the tour, flying, dealing with sleep deprivation, all the all the challenges that come with tour, um, tour life, and I was feeling, I was winning, but I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling, I wasn't feeling any of the victories that was making me gloomy and there were all these other stresses that were going on in life that um, contributed to the noise in my head, it was really wearing me down. So. I took time when I was in Adelaide um, at the Airbnb to meditate. I just needed to stop and I spent about an hour meditating. The first half an hour I was just allowing those thoughts to just come and go and I didn't, the idea is not to wrestle with anything. And then, don't laugh at this, but um, halfway through a meditation, sometimes I like to imagine a figure, a person that may um, be able to answer the question that I want answered that I can't figure out. I've got my eyes closed and I imagine this person and I bring it to them and it's like I don't want to feel afraid and I don't want to feel exhausted anymore. How come I'm not feeling these victories? And they said you're not supposed to eliminate fear and the things that you don't want. You're supposed to be cultivating more of what you do want and in your situation, you need more love in your life. You need more love, you need to cultivate more love because when you're in a state of love and gratitude and, and confidence and all that, then when fear pops up, and it will pop up, it won't take over so much. And I thought in that moment, I'm like, wow, like I'm really good at feeling afraid. Like that's a pattern that I had, for, a habit that I've been in for a long time now and not so good at feeling love self-love as well and confidence and and reassurance and all those things that you you need to fuel you to move move over whatever challenge you've um you've been faced with i feel like this recent idea has brought all that together i mean it's no wonder that now that i've got a whole heap of gigs this year scheduled that by default i feel nervous i feel fear again and all and i and i can see all these reasons why i should feel that way it's because i'm not in the habit of feeling love. Here I am putting together a, my single, my new single, and I actually have to make a point of stopping myself to remind myself that this is fun. And I know it's fun, I know I'm loving it, but I'm too focused on having to get shit done and rushing through things and deadlines and, and what if this doesn't happen? And it's just suffocating everything. Like if last year is just proving to myself that I can do something, this year is about choosing my point of focus so that I'm cultivating more of the feelings that I want to feel. Uh-huh.